Nice. Hello, Houstoners, and welcome to another episode of Beard Rock Galactic. Beard Rock Galactic! <laughs> Got it Beard. in one. Got it in one. I'm on a roll. Yeah. Rock yeah. Galactic. I can't remember what oh, this no! is. Oh, no! What? what? Oh, We're tiny! We're shrinking. <laughs> Can we get in the mugs? I'm gonna stand on the chair. Not being paid for the oh, I jumped over. <laughs> There you go, I'm sitting in the chair. Does it look funny? <laughs> oh, you're just standing on it. I go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm big again. Well, big by. You know. By compare, we are still dwarves. We are still dwarves. We are but we are only. Media. We are only three dwarves. Yes, because yes. Je because Dion's house is haunted. Oh. Spooky. Haunted I, by I, the ghosts of improper admin. Yes, something like that. Right, right, Jason? That, that's what yes, happened to Dion. Really yeah. Haunted house. Haunted, Haunted house. house. Cool. Rip in peace. Yeah, so we have, what's so. two trailers to talk about? <laughs> well, there are more trailers, but I don't watch any, so fuck it, let's go. Yeah, we'll talk about those two that are in the Discord. Uh, yeah. the first one, what was the name of it? Synchronicity? Synchron... 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 Sure, Synchronodochi. Um... Synchronic. Yeah, but... <laughs> there we go. 620 blaze it. Um... <laughs> I'm in on it. And, like, just normally the that trailer in and of itself wouldn't super, like, get me keen on it. Because, I don't know, there's... Looks like there's a bunch of stuff that could possibly go wrong with that concept, but what yeah. I what I am in on, which makes me go, you know, I think this would be pretty good, is I have. Ooh, let's put a thing here. I have seen that trailer. I'm, I've seen that movie that they talk about from the creators of, and it's yeah. uh, Spring. Which one's that? Um, it is. A kind of a romance movie that takes place in Italy with a guy that falls in love with a You've woman. You told me about it. Yeah, it's it's pretty solid. And if it's behind that, if it's from that guy, then I'm actually like, yeah, I I, I kind of trust it. You know, I think I think he could do good. I think Mackie's a good actor. Um, yeah, Mackie is a good actor. Which reminds me, I still need to watch the second season of Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. Yeah. It has been cancelled, by the way, because season two performed so poorly. Oh, really? But, I mean, that's the Netflix curse. The second or third season always performs poorly. That's what happened to every one of the Marvel shows. Except, you know, with those, they Except progressively got worse. How do we get the thingamajig towards us? I found C. a thing. C. Oh, yeah, the thing at the yeah, Molly. Come forth. So yeah, I'm I'm keen on synchronicity psychopy. I think it could be cool. Uh, Synchronocopy. Yeah, Synchronocopy. It's, ti it's timey wimey nonsense. It's timey wimey nonsense. Could be cool. So it's basically Tenet. Oh. Oh. Hot oh. take. Hot take. But a man doesn't blow up an actual 747 in that. I just um, love that he just bought one to blow up. They ju oh, I just love that. Our driller. I just love that they crunched the numbers and they were like, uh, actually, it'd be cheaper for us to buy a real jet and blow that up. God, I love, I love Show it. business is wild. <laughs> I love it. I love that, that it was the cheaper option and to try and fake it. It is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically Tenet. Yeah. Cool. And then the other trailer was Love and Monsters. Which looks like Zombieland, but different. What, so like warm bodies? What yeah, like warm bodies, but different. Cause, yeah. Because they're both human in it. Yep. And he's on a mission but to but find but his where's love. The, where's, where's the conflict if they're both human? There's monsters the everywhere. Monsters? He's got to try and get to her. 
through all the deadly, deadly monsters. Yeah. Okay. Look, uh, it, it, it just looks like YA nonsense. Um, but what I, what I am interested in is I will watch it solely because of... Um, I thought some of those monster designs look pretty rad. But, yeah, this, but, but the CG... Monster, but yeah, but the CG was really shit. Design's good, CG bad. Oh, hello. Shotgun. Obi. Imagine slow mo. Yeah. But yeah, some cool monster design. It looks like a, you know, a six out of ten teen movie. Yeah, six out of ten teen movie. Teenagers will watch it. It, it looks it looks fine to put on in the background while you're busy with other shit. Yeah. And then you were watching one other trailer, Marcus, when we signed on. Oh yeah, uh, something that looked terribly like a Woody Allen movie. Turns out it was a Woody Allen movie. Yeah, I hate it so when that happens. We can just we can you're just ignore that. Ones. You know. I mean, Woody Allen hasn't made a good movie in. A bajillion years, it feels like. Well, you know, being a sex pest, he shouldn't yeah. be making any Money. movies, but anyway. That's true. I mean, Roman Polanski stopped making movies. Yep. He had the good graces to just fuck off. Ow. There is that one Woody Allen movie I enjoy. It's the one with um, Owen Wilson, where he's in Paris with work. Time Warp. What's it called again? Uh, I don't know. Where are you guys? Oh, you're above me. You didn't come down the hole with me. Were we meant to come down the hole? Yeah, because there's more guy and shit down here, yo. Oh, there's more guy up here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm coming up to you then. Uh, hang on. I'll do. I'll give you a platform to that more kite. Uh, there we go. That's good. And then while we do that, I will just quickly Google that one because now it's gonna bother me. The name of the. The Owen Wilson Woody Allen. Yeah. Like, I want to say it's something like One Night in Paris. Oh, Midnight in Paris. One Night in Paris is a very different film. Yeah, well, oh, this one is no. Big Mid dude. Midnight in Paris. Have you guys seen that? Speaking of, Paris Hilton mm. has released a documentary on YouTube explaining her life and how she's misunderstood. Huh? Okay, does it come with the free stupid spoiled whore video playset? Uh, oh, yeah. no, it does not, but okay. I think it, it, it is basically her saying Paris Hilton is a character and I'm fucking tired of playing her. Of course she Of course, that. of course Paris Hilton is a character. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody's that shallow. So anyway, I could use another platform there and there, Marcus. Okay, I'll do that, but where... Okay, so there for the gold, and for that, more kite. More kite. And they are, oh, there's more more kite up there, too. Actually, uh, Thomas. Hello! You can help us out here. I doubt with that. With a strategically zip placed zip line to get us up top there ish uh there you go perfect thank you because from there it's easy to get up so can i take you guys yeah i'm already hesitant but sure awkward pause on a journey i mean i don't want to if go you, if you must Look, it's a it's a good bit. I'm just going to talk about Adam Reed. Okay. Okay. I mean, sure. Is it is it news related or is it this because you? Oh god, I'm going to die. Is this because you watch Frisky Black? Dingo. And I'll come C -Lab get you. 2021. God, I love C Lab. If you're looking for me, you can check under the sea. Cause that, that is where, is where you'll, you'll find me underneath the sea. sea we have stopped for your copyright claimed. Yep. Yeah, yeah cause that sounded exactly like it. So exactly. Exactly. It, it, yeah, exactly. Like we're good. It's, we're that good. We're pitch Why are you pouring a giant pearl on me, Thomas? Uh, 
I don't know, actually. If you need I, to put the drive oh, through in the molly. Uh, I called the molly for you. Oh, that's yeah. cool. <gasps> Get anyway. that one! That one's going! What I was, uh... What I was saying is, like, uh, having now, like, in quick succession... Because I just watched, uh... The, all ten seasons of Archer, just finished that a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in prep for the new season. In prep for the new season. Uh, which I'm very excited about, and I hear good things about the first two episodes. They are good, can confirm. Okay. Like, there's... It's almost as if... No! When what? You... Why? I'm dead again. I got you. Okay. The platforms are too tiny. It's like, if you look at Adam Reed's career, right? As a, as a writer, specifically. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like... Like, Archer is the to use game dev analogy is the 1.0 release I thought you were about to say the Dark Souls no 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 the, the, the 1.0 release where as you know C-Lab 2021 was him in alpha and Frisky Dingo was like that same project but in beta I can see that actually now that like, you're there's saying a lot of, there's a lot of commonality uh, in the writing style and how the jokes are uh written and set up and it gets more refined the closer it gets to Archer. And I mean, um, even again, to say the obvious, the voice actors. Yeah, you know? I mean, there's a lot, a lot of voice actors that come all the way from C-Lab through to your know, Archer. Uh, like, I think... Stay on the line. The yeah. line will protect us. The line will protect us. Valerie in uh, Frisky Dingo, the, <laughs> the assistant. Yes. We just starts episode one just screaming and then you find out, oh, she's voiced by Amber Nash and she becomes a geisha and then an assassin. I'm like, she's one I'm of my favorite characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it, man. Yeah, and Antagony is pretty good, too. I mean, Xander Cruz is... Is perfect. Xander Cruz is Archer. Just yeah. not voiced by H. John Benjamin. Like, the characteristics are very similar, and, like, Stay most on the people, line! The line will protect you! Most people, like, would see so much, such character similarities. I am down. Help me. As a bad thing. But, you know, just looking at his career, he was just refining his shtick till he got it to a point where it's pitch-perfect parody. Yeah. With Archer, and yeah, I'm I'm here for it. Yeah, I think it's rad. It's wonderful to be able to follow someone's career like that, you know. To be able to go back and see the and see, ah, they've always been good. Yeah, they've always been good. It just took every, just took the world a minute to catch up. You guys should really stay on the line. The line protects. Yeah, I'm, I want to, but you know, I want to also kill things. Yeah, but you fire from the line. See, look at me, I am a gun turret. <laughs> anyway, so who's been watching what recently? Oh, well, I mean... Before we get into that, we do have two pieces of, of movie news, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Is one of them um, Snyder related? Uh, no, although Ray Fisher did go on a, like, 23-minute rant. Uh, of course okay. he did. Of course he did. Oh, I hear Jason Momoa was like, yeah, J J J Joss Whedon totally tried to, you know, something, you something. Know. He told yeah. the douche on set or something. I don't know. Whatever. Look, the more I hear about it, the more it just sounds like Ray didn't want to say the lines that he was given. Well, I mean, he's a theatre actor. As a theatre actor! Oh my you, god, what the fuck is that? You notoriously cannot work with those people. And I should what know. Would you know about the yeah, well, how, how would you know about the theatre, Marcus? Ah, oh, god, I got picked up by a thing. Okay. Yeah, Jason, are you still carrying a ton of, like, Morkite and whatever? No, I just picked up some and I was looking for Molly. It's here, cause... here, follow us. But I need to get back up to that Morkite up there afterwards. No, so I'm just keeping her here. 
Will you leave that more guy. I will leave that more guy. I can't get any more guy. I'm get, I'm Why not? Away. You've got your supply. But I need that for strategic supply purposes. Can't be wasting that on deposits. We've that got, is true. We've Wait, got I'm gonna, for it. I'm gonna come back and I'm going to call down a supply. Man, it's I dark more. in here. Oh, oh God. wait, Jason, you're the scout, right? Yeah. Use the big light power. Um, I'm all out, out of big lights. Ah. Oh. They do not last forever. Ah! That was scary. I'm taking some of the it is um, pretty scary. But yeah, what news do we have? Yeah. Okay, so, um, Melissa McCarthy is being sued for that, um, college mom does parties movie thing. What? I am unfamiliar. She I... did a movie where she's a mom that went to college and then was a cool party mom. Okay, sounds um, Somebody stupid. approached oh. Warner Brother with that script several years ago, and Warner Brother was, Warner Brothers was like, "Yeah, that seems super marketable," and then just sort of left it. Uh... And then a movie written by Melissa McCarthy that eerily resembled it. Was released. That's crazy. But I mean, there are no original ideas, so I don't see what the problem is. It's crazy yeah, how it, it happens all the time with films. People trying to sue for spurious reasons. Yeah. Hey, hey! Remember when Lindsay Lohan tried to sue Rockstar? No. Oh, because it looked like her. Uh, you oh, remember? fuck the, the loading the, screen. The loading screen the kitty yeah. going. She was like, that's me. And they were like, nah, bitch. That ain't you. Nah, actually. That's just trash. That's just garbage. <laughs> so, don't know what you're talking about. So, yeah, spurious reasons. It happened. Spurious. But apparently, in this case, it wasn't spurious. There is Come some here. evidence. I assume that there's at least some evidence to show, because otherwise they would it wouldn't have. Yeah, it would just be thrown out of court. Yeah, like well, uh, I mean, a lawyer it's, it's just wouldn't true. even take the case. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it, the case also mentions uh, Brett Ratner and his company, even though they had nothing to do with the film. That's so. Weird. I mean, so, it's Brett Ratner. It pro he probably had a part in it anyhow. Fucking great. But not, but not demonstrably so. Ooh, Marcus. Hello. I found some more kite. Oh, oh, okay. Let's see if I can make that shot. So she's getting sued. Oh, well. Uh, next piece of news. Is that high enough? Uh, it is now. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so next piece of news. Um, so, Black Adam has started filming. Really? And, uh, and uh, The Rock was going to be uh, late for his uh, call time on set. And he didn't want to keep uh, the crew waiting and he didn't want to waste their time because there was a power outage at his place and his gate wasn't opening, his front gate for his car. So he fucking tore it off <laughs> with his bare hands. <laughs> what a he gem! Ripped, he ripped pneumatic steel in half. Oh, that man is just... Just a treasure. <laughs> a terrifying treasure. But a treasure. Absolutely terrifying. That, do you know what that is? That's a, that's a piece of nice feel-good news. Thank you, yeah. Jason. Well, we, that is nice feel-good <laughs> news. We need that sometimes. Yeah, after, after that lovely... Uh, Comment in the Zack Snyder tweet that I shared with you. Did you actually see uh, the tweet that it was it was from? Oh uh, no, I just know the interview you need to go and it through annoys there. me. Uh, cause it was uh, Batman Day the other day. So. Oh uh, yes, I remember Batman Day. It, it's off the back of that. Where his tweet was just basically how Batman is alone and sad and angry and 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 and. and. He really understands the character, guys. He really, you know, just has such a handle on it. Yeah. Because, you see, on the one hand, Batman has muscles. Yeah, but yeah. on the other hand, he has feelings. Oh, fuck. Really? What? 
My my favorite thing in the um in the Zack Snyder tweet where he's you know just masturbating. Um, he he very clearly says here, Batman is so alone. Like he's got nobody with him. There's no one. Absolutely nobody with Except Batman. Dick he is alone. He is alone and alone. And, alone, and, and there's just nobody to help him. Selena, Kyle, and like you know, he's Jay just Bob alone. Bob it's crazy how alone guy. he is. <laughs> I mean, he would never have enough people around him to like have it referred to as a family, or even yeah. like the Batman family. No, that would be crazy. A that, whole I Batman family. Jack, that's good that branding. Jack, and if Jack, and if he ever does, then you know he should do that. But uh, that's, that'll that that never happen. Hey, Jason. I hope this gag works well with just talking over Thomas the whole time. Because <laughs> if it doesn't Tom, work, Thomas is slightly louder, so it should work. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Because I think that would be hilarious if it actually worked. This is how we do podcasts, children. Just children. Just throw the jokes at a wall and see what sticks. Yeah. But yeah, I'm also about halfway through the devil all the time. Oh. Uh, oh, that's the that's the one with the the Tom Holland and the rubby hat. And I have yet to see either of them. Wow. Ooh, that's cool. I think. How um, is it? Meh. Meh. Average so far. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think I'm down. Yeah, yeah I am down. I was just clearing out some <laughs> some of the riffraff. Ooh, I um so uh. Oh yeah, it, it appeared on, uh, I think it was Prime Video or something, um, Antebellum showed up, yeah. that uh, thriller slash horror movie from the producers of uh, Us and Get Out. Okay. Uh, it's... I, how is it? I haven't watched it yet, it just, it's popped up on my feed for, for two, you should watch this. And yeah, tell me I, what to do. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Well, I, I, haven't, I I've not seen a trailer, but or anything, so I'm going into a movie produced by the people of Get Out and Us completely blind. So I'm assuming there's going to be at least one racism or one social commentary. I would assume so. maybe one of each. Um, maybe a double. A resupply. Yeah. Hey, Ooh, and I mean, it might be it might be good it might be terrible i don't know all mm. i know is it was recommended to me by the almighty algorithm do not doubt the algorithm um i watched maybe one of the best slash worst b grades that i've seen in a long time like yeah. it, it 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 stands shoulder to shoulder with uh raiders of the lost shark Ooh, that, and, that, and you that know, is big talk, my friend. That is that is high praise from yeah. me. It is called Summoning the Devil. It is sitting at a whopping one point eight on IMDb Ooh, right that's now. That's the butter zone. That's the butter zone. No, 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 that's just outside of the butter zone. Butter zone is two to three point five. And the, my God, it is just it's amazing. the The premise of the film is it's about this magic whip that summons a demonic nun to punish sinners because the Spanish Inquisition punished her and it centers around this church that's full of social outcasts. So it has like one gay person, one transgender person, one lesbian, one drug addict, and then it gets a new priest who, oh, Monsignor technically, and he's like, oh, it's full of sinners. So he gets the whip and he starts summoning this evil nun, and it's just fucking mental. It is mental. It is just batshit crazy insane, and has is some of the worst filmmaking I've ever seen in my life from a technical perspective. It is Fantastic. outstanding. Fantastic. Fantastic. Just, yeah, summoning the devil. Conjur cause I, conjuring the devil, it is called. Conjuring the devil. Yeah. Magnus. Where the hell are all these Ebo nuts? 
These Ebonuts. Ebonuts. I don't know, but I don't think they're important anymore. <laughs> they are. Don't we need to get them all? That's a secondary objective. Really? Yeah, yeah. you don't need to. Oh. Alright, yeah. well. Sorry, did I just shatter your world? Oh, well, I didn't... I didn't know that. But I guess... I guess we can call... whatever we need to call then. Yeah. Yeah, call the thing. Let's see if we get a rad... skin of our teeth chase sequence escape out of it. Whoa! Ah! A weasel! I don't think you can get up that way, guys. We gotta go around the long way. No! It depends, right? Let's just follow the molly. Let's see the what molly always know where to go. Yeah. I'm leading the molly. Oof. No, you're not. The molly is just leading you from behind. Oh. You're right. Ah, Christ! Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Where are you? Where are you? I was fucking sandworm. That looks like the thing from the Matrix that's inside Neo's belly button. It does. It does, yeah. Boom, baby! <laughs> Tense chasing, da 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 da. Tense chasing. Da, 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 da. It is tense. There we go. I got up. Oh uh, no! Fuck you! Run! So, uh, I was. Because I'm, you know. I don't know if you guys know this, but I might be a little bit excited for Denny Villeneuve's Dune. What? You should have no, expressed this. We could have talked about it. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, I figured out today that it goes back a little bit further than we thought, him wanting to do uh, Dune. Okay, I am listening. After he had, uh, after the success, uh, critical and somewhat financial success of um, Prisoners. I love Prisoners, holy shit. Oh, that's yep. such, it's such a dark, brutal, fantastic movie. Anyway, the the producers of that film were went to Denny and said, "If you could make like, what would be your dream project?" And he, without skipping a beat, said, "Dune," because he has been a fan a hero. Since, since he was a child. You know, of the books and of David Lynch's film. Hmm. So, yeah, this, he's been wanting to make this. For a while, and he finally got his wish when they were able to negotiate the rights for him to start making it. And then it only took seven years. Only took seven. Only years. seven years. It's not bad, all things considered. Yeah. Who made it? We did make it. Ooh. Yeah. Where's the entrance site? There we go. Look I mean. for the gunfire. Oh, it's down there. I was yeah. looking for it higher up. No, it's further down. It's like right at the bottom. Tap, tap, tap. Ah! Fuck you! Get in here, guys. <laughs> Come on. We are in here. Oh, no, I... there's, there's a little green end zone. Oh, uh, there. So, yeah, now I'm just, you know, more excited for Dune. Yeah, I've been going through those videos that you that you linked us. The lore videos. Lore videos, right? It's so cool. It is extremely well done. Yeah, the guy. Oh, knows really? So should I watch them then, as just as a refresher? As a refresher uh, of the lore, definitely. Yeah. It might be a little in depth for just a refresher of the lore. No, you just do the first two. I videos. would. I wouldn't be surprised how much I've forgotten. I have depression, brain. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, do you at least remember that um, you know Paul's son becomes a kind of worm god? I do remember that. Okay. Doubt we'll be seeing that in the movie. No, but yeah, I want his. That to be his I remember, like all his skin, 
is the same texture as the womb. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's basically surrounded by a baby worm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The his he's, sur he's surrounded by sand trout, which are baby worms. Sand worms. Yeah. That's that's some like a trout becoming a worm is some weird shit. I mean, look, it's look, unusual that, biology, that but uh, full of weird shit. <laughs> it was like, written by a lunatic. Have you read it? It was written by an environmentalist. It's full of weird shit. Oh no. Yep. Hold on to your butts. Commencing gravity calibration. Hold on to your butts. Ah! Na 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 so, we... Anti-content. Yeah, anti-content. <laughs> anti I was so, just flying around. So are we telling the Vustoners what horrors they have to look forward to? Or are we... Are we keeping them in the dark for the great surprise? You know I've never watched the version we're gonna watch. Oh god. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, god I've no. never. I, I, I have watched it twice. Um, yeah, once, uh, whilst getting horribly drunk with bass, because that's the only way I could make myself sit through it again, mm -hmm. and then a second time so that I could, with great ammo, debate its defenders. That is good and, you know, noble of you. You've made a great sacrifice for the, the, all of cinema, and I do respect that. And now it's going to happen again. And now we will make an equally great sacrifice. That's right, Vustoners. You heard it no, here. No, no, don't, don't, don't tell them. They'll find out. We're going to blank. No, this no. is, this we're is going, click based. We're click going, We're going to blank the blank out of blank. Magnificent mod. That's How's fair. That Hell yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's pretty clickbait. It even bleep. It'll blow your it. mind. <laughs> Uh, I think yes. I'm bad at the I think I'm bad at the barrel game. You're pretty bad. Oh, I'm coming to watch and and, and, and mock you now. And judge. Well, my recommendation is Spring. Seeing as it was brought up by the trailer we discussed earlier. Yeah. I think everybody should give it a look. Marcus, oh. what is your recommendation? I am going to recommend that I th that you <laughs> use a virtual private network, aka a VPN, mm -hmm. to gain access to Adult Swim's streaming service. I did that to watch um, Primal. Yeah, to watch. Frisky Dingo. It'll take you all of like shit, an I'm afternoon, like, three hours to watch all of it. Yeah, it's like two seasons. Yeah, two seasons of th so a total of twenty-six ten-minute episodes. So that's two hundred and sixty minutes. So that's what. Marcus, this is incredible. Marcus? This is incredible. Marcus, these barrels are worth ten points each, right? Yes. Yeah. And no, and the red ones are worth like fifty points. This is incredible. Um, I mean, that's... Um, that, like, that, statistically! That statistically, you should have a higher <laughs> score. <laughs> like, based on raw <laughs> mathematics, you should be doing better than you are currently doing. Wait, wait, I want to match the barrel count to the score. There, I've done it. <laughs> 420 blazes. 60-60. Oh my 60 god. Uh, Jason, what's your recommendation? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy us a good Dice night around, beer, quick. Then... Uh, my, my recommendation... I uh, actually don't know, I've just really been playing mostly um, Tony Hawk's because my weird hand thing has gone. It, Yay! It, weird hand thing gone! Yeah, it exploded while I was lifting heavy weights and then Oh, rad! That's disgusting! 
Yeah, that is kind of disgusting. Why were you lifting weights so heavily? To get so swole! You saw those photos. You see my guns. I've seen your guns, you still didn't show me the washboard, coward. Because I don't have a washboard, I have a pizza belly. It looks uh, like so you have a washboard. It's for So I guess, um... I I'd recommend Tony Hawk's... Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably that. Yeah. Is it a good time? It is a good time and I'm getting better again. Nice. I managed to get 10 million points on a single level. Woo! Alright, good night, Houstoners. Good night, Houstoners. Good night. Watch those things we told you. Yeah. Sorry it's been a short episode, but you know. We're it's lacking been a, a deal. Week. Yeah, it's been a slow week and we don't have deal. Um, that and uh, next week's episode is. Yes. We'll make up for it next week. We'll make up for it next week, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink.